Question, what is your favorite ground dog hay type of film? Let me know in the comments below, but for now, let's jump into this review uh, and kind of spoiler talk towards the end of Two Distant Strangers. In Two Distant Strangers, cartoonist Carter James' repeated attempts to get home to his dog are thwarted by a recurring deadly encounter that forces him to relive the same awful day over and over. So there's two things going on. Um, in this short, it's 30 minutes long and it, it will fly by because it's very entertaining and it has a message to say. So on one hand, it talks about the brutality of the cop killings that we've seen a lot in America. Even on the building rooftop, we see uh, George Floyd. Um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, George Floyd and, and a bunch of the names of the young men and women that have died from hands of the brutality of the police. And at the same time, we have a very interesting premise going on. And so it definitely has a message. At some of the time, it is quite preachy and it's in your face, but I think it needs to be that. First, we see this young cartoonist. He's had a very good night. He wakes up, uh, he lights a cigarette as he's leaving the building. Uh, he drops a wad of cash, he bumps into a guy with coffee, and then this cop says, do we have a problem here? Obviously a white cop, and uh, takes him down with a chokehold and basically kills him. And we see this day repeated in various versions. We see this cop just have it out for him, no matter what. And we see our main protagonist, you are willing him to get home to his dog. We see a little images of his dog. Uh, he has got one of those little video clips of those machines that spit out rewards for your dog. You can have a camera watching a dog as well. So we have that kind of juxtaposition of this brutality and then of the great evenings he's had and the love of his life, which is at home, and you're willing him to survive. So it has that as the core premise. We've seen a lot of these type of films recently, actually. Uh, Hulu did Palm Springs. There's a number of other films like this where we've had repeats. Grand Dog Head Day is obviously one that will come to mind and people know a lot of. We've had Happy Death Day, Happy Death Day 2. A lot of those type of films at the moment are seem to be fairly popular. This is quite concise because the first 20 minutes maybe is this kind of repeat. And then we have the last 10 minutes, which is really a massive monologue piece of what it is actually like. There are subtle nuances inside uh, this uh, kind of 30 minute short feature of where it is telling us, you know, to remember the names of the, those who have died. Remember uh, the names so we can try and help this sort of thing not happen again. You know, that is the message. And it does pack quite a punch when you see the ending and then it has the credits of the names of people flying past and it just go carries on and on. You're like, and this person was shot in the bed and this person was playing in the park. You're like, oh my gosh, this is awful. And racism in itself, you know, is terrible. But when the consequences are death, so much more worse. So it definitely packs a punch. I know some people will think it's preachy and they're like, ah, oh, why can't they just stop talking about this? This type of stuff needs to be talked. So using the visual medium of film to tell the story that maybe eventually this type of stuff will be will happen less because we're talking about it more. It's much more in the open. I think that's fantastic. However, let's get to the spoilers. So if you don't want any spoilers for this for this kind of short feature, then I'm just t saying it's definitely worth 30 minutes of your time. I'm not really going to rate it. It's not doesn't seem like something I want to rate. Just that I, I enjoyed it for its um, skill in the filming, enjoyed it for its storytelling, and then the message um, had a really good punch. So that is my review. Let's talk about some of the stuff I saw within the episode. So one of the first things I noticed uh, is in the apartment building and he wakes up every day, there's this number six that has fallen over the, on the door to the apartment. And it forms, if you look at the shadow of it, the repeat of it, it forms an infinity sign. So it gives you a little kind of quirk insight into um, this is a loop day. It's infinity. Obviously, infinity goes on and on and on and on and on, which I think was pretty cool. There are things like that within the episode that you can notice, especially um, in the repeats, you just look for things or things that might have changed. Our character starts learning how to open doors, the timing of things, you know, trying to survive, trying to get, uh, just get further, maybe get away from the cop, like boss level. You know, he eventually learns after dying so many times, he reaches that point. When, and, and then he realizes, of course, that it just seems to always end one way. If you see one of the deaths towards uh, the end, I think there is this blood spell spatter that looks exactly like the the shape of the continent in the world map of africa and then it cuts to the next scene with that has some africa depictions and um people that obviously mean a lot to the the department department apartment that the woman is in and so it has a lot to say there's subtle nuances like that let me know in the comments below some of them that you've um 
found and also do you think he is eventually going to figure out a way uh, to get away from this loop day or is it just saying that we're living the same day over and over again the same things keep happening no matter what we do people seem to be dying it definitely has that sort of connotation to it that sort of theme I thought it was very interesting so let me know in the comments chat to me down below what did you think of this did you think it was too preachy or do you think it was right and on on hit the nail on the head exactly what we need to be talking about thanks so much for uh, watching this review let me know your thoughts but most of all until next time remember live long Tuesday